Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Brittany. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. So today we're filming a very exciting video. We're gonna be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm gonna be doing a Q and A in this video. I'm gonna be answering some questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. I'm super excited for you guys to get to know me. So yeah, we're just gonna be chilling together. I'm gonna be getting ready, but it's mainly gonna be about the talking, the tea, the drama, the everything you need to know about me. So if you guys wanna see this video, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and prime with my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Um, I am gonna have a video coming up of reviews on all the products I've been trying lately just because I've been trying a lot of new things, been doing a lot of hauls. So be on the lookout for that video and I have a lot of thoughts on this primer. Uh, me and Christian don't have any kids. We do have one cat. His name is Hudson. He is our baby. Um, it took me forever to convince Christian to get a cat. He's not a cat person. His family is not really into cats. And so he never had any growing up. But of course, he loves Hudson now. And I don't think if it would have been for me, like he would have ever had a cat in his life. But now he loves them. I'm a big lover of animals like i love animals so much when i was young i wanted to be a veterinarian i loved animals so much but then i realized if you're a veterinarian you have to deal with like the death of animals and them being hurt and i don't think i would have the heart for that and so i ended up not being a veterinarian before that i actually wanted to be a singer because i love singing but i am way too shy for that okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get started with the q a i did ask you guys some questions on instagram and facebook and so that's what i'm gonna be going off of so one of the questions is what is your dream job <laughs> you're actually seeing my dream job right now like me doing youtube full time is definitely a dream i would love for that to happen i don't really make a lot of money right now off of YouTube. I would definitely love just doing this full time and actually getting to make money off of something that I love doing. That's just my dream. So right now, YouTube is my dream and to make it full time, I would just, oh, I can imagine like getting just to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and give this Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation another shot today. Okay, so another question is, what motivated you to start a YouTube channel? So what motivated me? Hmm. Okay, so I was living with Christian at the time and I never really watched YouTube videos. The only time I really watched them was if I like went to my friend's house and we would just like watch funny videos. I never thought of it like having makeup on there. I just thought it consist of like people I'm doing funny videos and music videos. That's all I really thought YouTube was. And so I never like actually used it unless I was with my friends, like I said. And we actually ended up making our own YouTube channel, which was supposed to be like a funny YouTube channel. So it was called I Muchachas. <laughs> oh my gosh, this brings back so much memories. Um, but if you ever seen the YouTube channel, like Cholo Adventures, it's basically the same thing, but like with us three girls, it was three, no, it was four of us. And we would just like vlog at school and make little funny videos, but we actually never posted one or ended up making the channel. But I, I would have thought it would have like been successful because my friends are freaking hilarious. Um, I miss them so much. They're back in Amarillo. Oh, but anyways, I got off track. So um, Christian ended up showing me YouTube because he would always be watching it. And I was like, this is so freaking cool. Like, I didn't know people actually like did this, like posted stuff online from their like everyday life. And so I ended up watching makeup videos, of course, because I've always loved makeup. When I was young, I used to steal my mom's makeup, even though it was like 10 times lighter than my actual skin tone. And I used to wear it and I just, I loved anything beauty. And so once I saw that they had beauty videos on there, I was like, oh my gosh, yes. Like, I fell in love. And like, it's not even that I fell in love with the makeup, I did. But I also fell in love with like the fact that they get to make videos and put them on YouTube and like fast forward them doing makeup. I just thought that was so cool. So ever since I saw it, I was like, I want to do that. Like I told Christian, like, I want to do that. And at this time we were living with his grandparents. And so I literally tried filming videos there, but it just like, 
I couldn't edit them or anything and so I just kind of pretty much gave up on that and I was like I'm gonna do it whenever we move because we were already planning on moving and yeah I remember watching my first YouTube tutorial I would sit on the bed and I would have all my makeup there and I would tell Christian like I'm gonna try to recreate this look and then I would do it and it would look nothing like hers but I just had so much fun doing it and so that's what I did. I ended up just like moving here and starting my YouTube channel. Okay, so one of the other questions is, do you prefer high-end makeup or drugstore makeup? I actually really love both, but if I had to pick one, I think I would pick high-end just because I get so much more excited about high-end makeup. Buying it just makes you feel like bougie. And I don't know, I just love it. I feel like I've always been into high-end makeup as soon as I moved here and like I said I wasn't really into makeup before I found YouTube and so I would look up Sephora hauls already like I didn't even start with drugstore I feel like well obviously when I started makeup when I used to wear my mom's makeup and stuff it was drugstore but when I actually started researching makeup I researched high-end and like I started off um, small like I didn't get like freaking Tatcha or like all these luxury brands but I did start off high-end and I would just get like the minis because you could still try out the high-end makeup but it's cheaper to get the minis and to me that was like drugstore prices so I'm like I might as well try out this like high-end stuff so for me I just I love high-end makeup I like I love Sephora I love Ulta I do dabble in drugstore just because I am a youtuber and I feel like I definitely want to put out tutorials using drugstore stuff because drugstore has gotten so good over the years like some stuff I love more from the drugstore than I do high-end it just depends on the brand and like what you get but yeah if I had to pick one I guess I would pick high-end this is actually hard not talking about like what I'm using and stuff I'm like I want to tell you guys like oh I'm using this I'm doing this but I want it to be more personal and not really about the makeup um so <laughs> It's a little bit hard for me because, like, I'm very shy in person. Like, I'm not a very, like, social person. When it comes to, like, meeting people and, like, making friends and stuff, I'm not very good at it. So, um, that's, like, what makes me good at my job now. Like, if I were selling, like, clothing, I feel like it would be hard for me to talk to people. But since I'm selling makeup, like... You get me started on makeup basically we're like best friends i'm like girl you need this in your life like but when it comes to just regular talk i'm very shy and like awkward and i don't really know what to say so like if you ever see me at work and i like seem so outgoing or if like in my videos i seem so outgoing and like happy and loud it's because i'm talking about makeup but if you change the subject i'm probably gonna be a little awkward so my sister actually asked me a question she asked us like when we're gonna go visit and we're gonna go over there in november and i cannot wait i miss you guys so much i can't wait to visit so someone asked where do i see myself when i'm 30. i see myself with kids hopefully just because me and christian he would always say like i want kids when we're 30. Um, but I honestly feel like that's a little bit too old. I want to do it a little bit before, but then again, I'm 23 and then that seems very close. So I'm like, uh, maybe 30 is a good number. I have no idea. Some people say, no, don't do it. Wait. Some people are like, no, you don't want to be too old. And so I have no idea, um, about the kid situation right now. Um, but it also, hopefully by 30, I will be able to make this YouTube a career. That will be like my dream for sure. Um, I see me and Christian living somewhere else. We've been living at this apartment for a while now. We keep renewing the lease and we just keep renewing it just, to, just because we love this apartment so much. But I'm getting a little tired of it. So hopefully, <laughs> well duh, of course, when I'm 30, like we'll for sure be out of here, right? Duh, I don't know. I'm thinking that it's like so soon, but it's really not. So hopefully we'll have a house here. Um, we love it here even though we don't have like our family and everything. Um, hopefully some of our family can move down here because we just love it here so much. So I honestly don't think we'll move back there. Um, but hopefully we'll have a house here. And uh, hopefully Christian's programming will take off. Um, that's what he wants to do. He wants to be a programmer. He's working on um, learning everything right now. But hopefully he'll be a freelance 
programmer and yeah that's where I see myself hopefully we'll get at least one dog like I just want one dog um, like I said I love animals I grew up with animals my whole life so whenever I went for so many years without having one because me and Christian didn't have one it was driving me nuts and then we finally got Hudson but hopefully we'll at least have one more dog or a dog because we don't have a dog right now and yeah Oh my gosh, and hopefully by like 30, my Instagram has taken off. I'm really trying to grow it just because I feel like it's so weird that like I'm the only YouTuber or I feel like I'm the only YouTuber that has like a small Instagram, but a bigger YouTube. And I'm not saying like I have a huge YouTube or anything, but I'm just saying like my Instagram should be bigger, I feel like. And so I'm trying to post on there every day from now on, like at least for the weekdays. Um, so make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram. It's Brittany Raquel, just like my YouTube. Oh, and before 30, I know the question was like, what, where do you see yourself at 30? But I want to say this, like, I hope that we have our big, like, wedding that we've always dreamed of before that, just because me and Christian haven't had that. And so... Um, I really want to have like a party with our family there and like a big white dress and fancy food. I want to have like a dessert bar because I love sweets. That's like my weakness is sweets. And so I picture us having like a little dessert bar with like ice cream and brownies and like every sweet that you could imagine. I just want us to have our dream wedding. Okay, so I have to cut my crease. And I cannot talk and do that at the same time. So I'll be back after it's cut and then we'll continue with our conversation. Okay, so the next question is, what are your thoughts on the current beauty community drama? Oh my gosh, guys. I have a lot of thoughts. Um, so I don't know which drama you're referring to. There's drama with like Manny MUA, Laura Lee, Jeffree Star, that kind of thing. And then there's also the makeup geek situation drama going on. So I guess I'll just talk about both. Okay, so we'll start with the Manny MUA, the Gabriel Samora, Nikki Dragon, or whatever her name is. Um, we'll start with that drama. So if I could open this palette, oh my god. So what I think of that drama is like it was out of pure jealousy like it happened right after Jeffree Star's little video with Shane Dawson aired and then all this drama came out um, against Jeffree Star. I'm like summarizing it but you guys know what happened. Um, and I think it's just because they got jealous they're like you know like Jeffree Star is such like a good businessman like he's making all this money and now he has like this video with Shane Dawson making him look like a really good person which it did and I love Jeffree Star I never followed him when all the like racist stuff went down so I've always loved him just because I never saw that part of him but apparently he used to be really racist or something like that and so I guess all the beauty gurus kind of like got together and they kind of got jealous and so they started throwing shade at him and then he ended up recovering emails, or not emails, what am I talking about? Tweets that they all said referring to racist things. And I just think the whole thing is dumb. Like if you're a figure on the internet, like you probably shouldn't tweet racist stuff. It's gonna get out there just because like you're on YouTube, like you're a big YouTuber. So even if like back then they weren't that big, I'm pretty sure they're bigger than like what I am now. And I know not to say like dumb stuff like that. Um, but with that being said, like, I'm not unsubscribing to any of them. Like, well, I don't, I'm not subscribed to Gabriel, but I think, like, his sorry video was a really good video. I did watch that, um, but I'm still subscribed to everybody, including Jeffree Star. Like, I still like their videos, and if you're in it for the makeup, like, you really don't, like, I don't care about that stuff. Like, I'm not gonna give them a hard time, like... I don't know I just like ignore it basically like I'm just like whatever like that's their thing that they have to deal with and so I'm not with them I'm not like oh my gosh like you're such an angel but I'm also not like I'm gonna unsubscribe and I hate you so much now just like the whole Jeffree Star thing like I'm still subscribed to him I thought that was a really good video um and I love his videos and I love that he still posts can we talk about that like Jeffree Star is still posting, but you don't see Manny posting. 
you don't see Jaclyn Hill posting. I know she's not a part of this, but she's part of the makeup geek makeup geek thing that we'll get into. Um, you don't see Laura Lee posting. Like none of them are posting, and I'm over here like, hey, like pick me. Like <laughs> when you guys search for stuff, obviously their videos are gonna come up. But like since they're not posting, hopefully like I'll get views out of it. Like. I ain't even trying to lie. Um, I would definitely like to get on top since everybody is like not posting, but I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you want some people that post consistently, you're looking at her. Um, but yeah, I still enjoy watching their videos. Like I have nothing against them. I just hate that they don't post as much now. And the same thing with Jacqueline Hill. I am subscribed to her as well, but I feel like she never posts. And the same thing with Nikki Tutorials. I do know that Nikki Tutorials is like an actual makeup artist, so she's very busy. But I would like to see her post more too, just because that's all we watch here. Like we don't have cable, so I am on YouTube 24-7. So when they're not posting, it's kind of sad because I'm like, who do I watch? But those are not the only people I'm subscribed to. Like all these people that are involved in all this drama like i'm not subscribed to only them like i'm subscribed to good people that like i mean not that they're not good people but i'm also subscribed to people that don't get involved in drama and like have nothing going on and a lot of subscribers i see that they comment on bigger youtuber pages like manny mua or jacqueline hill and they're like oh my gosh like i miss the old videos i miss makeup tutorials and like all the favorites videos and everything but they're saying that like nobody does them anymore honey they're still being done just they don't do them anymore but like i do them like smaller youtubers do them um samantha ravendall does them like it's just like there's other people out there that still do those videos they might not get as much views and that's probably like why they don't want to do it because i know from us being a smaller youtuber that it's very hard to get views on like makeup tutorials now as for the makeup geek drama she made a video like talking about like how um influencers ask her for too much money for just to talk like about one product in a video or something like that and that they get like sixty thousand dollars i don't know the exact number i'll have it on the screen but basically a lot of influencers got mad because like obviously we all don't make that amount of money which is so true like I don't really make any money off of YouTube and so we're all different and for her to just put that number out there was kind of like ugh, like a little bit like shady just because like we don't all get paid that much and we're also not all like stingy and like very like up there and like I don't know I keep saying like but we're just not like um how do you say entitled I guess I don't know I don't know what I'm saying but I just thought that was a weird video I felt like she was kind of going on a rant and I do like makeup geek I love makeup geek I don't use it that much anymore just because like there's so many brands now and so many um, products coming out with new things or brands coming out with new things so um I still like it though it's still a good product um so anyway Samantha Ravendall made a video like talking about the makeup geek video and like her thoughts which was such a good video i felt like i learned so much from that video about like just the industry in general and so i will link that video right here if you guys haven't seen it but she made some really good points in that video one thing that kind of like she said that i was like girl um she said that she thinks that like companies shouldn't send pr packages to influencers like big pr packages like that take up so much money and that because they're complaining about like influencers not making them money um but when she kind of said that i was kind of low-key like girl if they actually do something about this when i become a bigger youtuber i won't get lavish packages like you guys did and it made me a little jealous because i'm just like i would like to have fancy packages i would like to have all the shades of foundation like I would like that um but that's the only thing that made me kind of like what and then they, she talked about like how they send influencers on trips and stuff and that also like uses up the money which i would love to go to bora bora i would love to go on all these fancy trips so i'm kind of like hey shh shh <laughs> because they might take that away like obviously her one video is not going to make them take all that stuff away but i was just like girl why are you saying that for i want to do those things but that's just me being like a small youtuber and wanting 
like YouTube as a dream job. Guys, it is so crazy how like the beauty community is feeding off this drama. It's just, it's funny to me just because some YouTubers will be like, you guys have been asking me about the drama, but like, you know, here I'm so positive and I don't really get into the drama. And then they'll go on like a lecture of like all the drama and they'll be like, and then at the end they'll be like, but you know, we don't really talk about that here on my channel. And I'm like, bitch, you just did. You just got into the drama. Like, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> it's just so funny. And then people are like loving the whole my truth. And so they're putting it in their title, like my truth. And then they'll just like talk about like what they think of the beauty community. I just, I think it's so crazy how like the beauty community is feeding off this drama. Freaking James Charles, he uploaded a chit chat get ready with me and it, it literally said in the title my truth and then he put just kidding and i thought that was freaking hilarious because i'm like oh my god it's so true i can't believe i just cussed on my channel like i used to cuss but then the whole like monetization thing was happening and i'm like trying to be a youtuber you know so i stopped cussing but then i see all these other big youtubers cussing and i'm like what the heck so they're still monetized and so it's just very confusing on like what is allowed and what is not allowed okay so the next question is on your hair tutorial if i have highlights should i put the l'oreal one all over my hair so if you guys haven't seen my hair video i have a whole video like on how i dye my hair i will have it in the cards right here if you want to see it um but basically she's wondering if she could put the l'oreal one on top of her highlights because it has lightener in it so what's gonna happen if you put it all over your highlights will be brighter than the rest of your hair so your hair will be red but on the highlights it will be a brighter red so it just depends on what you want it to look like if you want that look like if you want to have some dimension and it not to be all one tone of red then yeah go ahead and just put it all over but if not like if your um, highlights are really really bleached out and they're very damaged I wouldn't put it on top of them just because it might like fall out it might be really damaged after so it just depends on like what you want girl but you could totally put it on top of your highlights if you do want to it's just it's up to you like i i can't tell you what to do because i i don't know what your hair looks like um but if i think that would look really pretty like if you put it all over and then the red highlights were brighter that's actually what happened to my hair um i did cut it the other day but the ends are a lot lighter and that's because i had it lightened before i had it like a gray color so when i did do the l'oreal color i put it all over and the ends ended up being brighter which i actually liked a lot because it gave like my hair dimension so it's totally up to you girl okay guys i have to put my lashes on off camera so i'll be back if you guys are wondering what hudson looks like this is what it looks like, isn't he so cute? Say hi to the people. Hi to the people. He could be a model cat. He's huge though. Look, cousin. He's probably like, why are you letting me get up here? You never let me get up here. What is going on? That's my Hudson and he's so cute. He's so cute, my Hudson. Okay, go away run away now okay so i'm pretty much done with this look i just need to add a nude lip i'm not sure what to do i feel like i want to use truffle i haven't used truffle in a while also i didn't change my shirt because i'm too lazy and i'm just gonna eat after this so there's no point in putting on a bra right now because i don't work till later so sorry about the shirt it's gonna look good or not i feel like it's kind of warm for this look guys you should totally follow me on snapchat if you do like more personal videos like this because i do get more personal on there than i do like on here and you'll also see a lot of hudson and if you don't know this my cat plays fetch you would know that if you followed me on snapchat but he's the best cat and the most smartest cat ever i feel like okay guys so this is it for the look i really love the way it turned out i'm gonna definitely have to take a picture for instagram later but I'm loving it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming this for you guys. Hopefully you guys got to know me a little bit better. 
and let me know if you want me to do more videos like this. You guys do request for me to do Q&As a lot, but then you guys don't ask questions and then I can't do the video without the questions. So um, if you do want me to continue doing these videos and if you want to ask me anything, you can leave it in the comments down below and I'll answer it in the next kind of Q&A video or in a chick chat get ready with me video. But yes, this was so fun to film. If you have any questions regarding like the answers that I gave, leave it in the comments down below and I'll answer it for you guys. Guys. Um, but if you're not already subscribed to my channel, Brittany Raquel, go ahead and subscribe before you leave. I do make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so that's three times a week, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!